Throughout our travels here at Big City Fishing, we have done a lot of shore fishing. Unfortunately, many times the fishermen before us left their garbage for us to pick up. We as fishermen should look at ourselves as stewards of the environment and should not leave any garbage. When you're shore fishing, bring a garbage bag and bring any garbage you have home with you to dispose of properly. If you see garbage left by others, please pick it up. Now let's join Jamie in Montreal for some more American shad fishing. We found a little school and they kind of come up yeah, back and they forth. Came, and, yeah, uh, because we've been hitting them. Last couple of casts, you know, we get those those taps on the jig, so. so somebody uh, sounded the dinner bell. Well, there's more to do than just watch hockey in Montreal, eh? The, there's some fantastic fishing opportunities here that people just don't know about. You guys have good walleye fishing, you got musky fishing, uh, Fabulous bass fishery bass, as well. All kinds of uh, trout and salmon. Right now we're fishing the Riviere de Prairie, which is connected to... Uh, it's part of the Ottawa River system. Yeah. Drops from the Ottawa into Lake of Two Mountains, and after that down into Prairie River. And then at the end, it ends up in the St. Lawrence River. Okay, you might want to swing it on yeah, this side. Okay. Yeah, that's gonna, probably gonna, gonna be the best yet. Yeah. The best sure. place to land it, right here. This one's got some shoulders. Here it comes. Yeah. There All you right. go. That's All good. Right. Perfect. Spit that jig out right in the net, yeah. too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Just rolled in the net. Yeah, the yeah. jig hooked, got, hooked got himself. Yeah, jig got tangled in the, the net. So there you go. Oh, that's a beauty. Yeah, that's a nice one. Yeah. Wow. There you go. Mike, what a pleasure. Yeah. This is that's, just like a baby tarpon, eh? It's a good size too, this one, yeah. It's about five pounds. I'd say uh, about five and a half, yeah, definitely. Hey. Yeah, he's got a tick back. Wow. That's cool. Look at that. Okay. Well, we're gonna put this yeah. fish back. So Mike, we changed techniques a little bit. We, yeah, we uh, earlier we were fishing holding areas which are like outside the current. And it seemed that every single bite, every single tap that we had were when we were casting very close to the current or actually in the current itself. So what we did, we switched technique. Instead of being anchored outside current casting, what we did is that we placed the anchor in the current, you just cast out behind the boat and leave it there. So what happens is that when fish are a little spookier, they just come up, they watch the jig, and suddenly like it, it takes a few seconds and they grab it. That's what we did. We got here, what, two, three minutes ago and already Yeah, fish we, we got a fish, That's so cool. sometimes when things aren't working, you gotta mix it up a little bit. And that's what we did. You might wanna move it on, on this side of the boat. There's a little less current. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. A big silver flash. It's behind the boat. Yeah. Now this side again. Yeah. Here we go. You might you want to shorter the uh, the length of the line a bit. Yeah. All right here he comes up. No. When it's near to the boat, it was just wants to, to go down. Well, fighting well. Yeah. There you go. Got him. All right. That <laughs> Mike, one gave us. A nice one. That one. Uh, yeah. That one worked out the uh, the forearm. Beautiful fish, eh? Yeah. Oh, he's still, he's still swimming. <laughs> we'll let him swim back in the water. This tail just doesn't want to stop, and it's amazing, you know, these fish, three to five or six or seven pounds, 
They pull like they're a small bus. <laughs> pound for pound, folks, if you're down in Montreal, make sure you give these American Chad and give Mike a call or come down here and fish from the shore. You'll have a fantastic time. I'm going to put this one back in. You just uh, let him do his thing. Great action. If you're in the Montreal area in late spring, check out to see if the American Shad Run is on. If it is, grab a rod and some shad darts and try your luck. You won't be disappointed. For Jamie Pastilli, I'm Amanda Pluis. Thanks for watching Big City Fishing. Big City Fishing was brought to you by Fisher Girl, Catch the Passion, and Jack Link's Beef Jerky, Feed Your Wild Side. Oh, these rocks are really slippery. <laughs>